Welcome. So in this session, we will solve a wave equation for uh, infinite string, and uh, we will use the Lambert solution, uh, the Lambert method, in fact, to find the solution. Okay. Now, if you write down the heat problem for infinite string, sorry, wave equation. Every time I say heat, wave equation for infinite string. Okay. For infinite string. Okay. This type is very important for any of the exam. In fact, it appears to be this, okay. where they will give you this x has also the category, and this t is greater than zero. And when it is for the infinite string, most of the time, this boundary conditions will uh, initial conditions will be missing. Only they will give you this. Okay. And sometimes they may give you f of x, sometimes they may give you g of x. So that does not make any difference. So you have to, you can apply this formula. Okay, so solution by D Lambert's method is given by. It's simply u of x t equal to one upon two times okay, equal to one upon two times okay f of x plus c t plus f of x minus ct and then plus 1 upon 2 c times integration of x minus ct to x plus ct and then g of y dy here i am replacing the variable uh, we are talking about basically when i am saying g then i am talking about this quantity but this is a function of x here but since i am replacing the variable because i have here in the form of x okay so i am replacing the variable g of y dy okay so that's the solution by d lambert method okay now let me consider a problem so that you understand it better okay i'll consider a problem okay. so let's check an example here Okay, say you have a curve, say u t t equal to u x x and u x zero equal to sin x and u t at x zero equal to one. Okay, then what is u of x t? Okay. Also find u at pi comma pi by two. Okay, so that's not a big deal. In fact, we will simply find out the solution by using the Lambert method, and then we will uh, plug in pi and pi by two at the place of x and t. Okay, so now if we equate, then you get c equal to one because there is no c, so c is one. And your f of x is uh, sine of x, and my g of y, which is the condition uh, at the derivatives, which is nothing but one. Okay, so now by D. Lambert's method, okay, by D. Lambert's method, simply just write down the solution u x t will be equal to half of f of x plus ct and plus f of x minus ct and plus integral x minus ct to x plus ct and then g of y dy okay now let us find out oh, i think i'm sorry i forgot to multiply 1 upon 2c here okay it is always there fine now let's solve them so it will be half of it will be sine of because f of x is my sine of x so x plus ct will basically, basically c is one so it will be just x plus t 
okay and plus sine of x minus t and plus 1 upon 2 will remain here and then from x minus t to x plus t just 1 dy okay now we have to open the brackets so that will give you sine x cos t and plus cos x sine t and then this another one will give me sine a cos b minus cos a and then sine b this part is done and i just simply integrate this and get two times um, x plus t and minus x minus t okay so i'm done and in fact i see that this is getting cancelled and this quantity will give me sine x cos t sine x cos t so it will become two times sine x cos t so i'm getting u x t to be u x t i'm getting this two and uh, this two and this two will get cancelled later on okay so two sine x cos t getting cancelled okay and uh, this part will give us this x will also get cancelled we just get 2t okay so we just get 2t so plus 2t all right now you can even cancel this 2 2 and get only sine x cos t and plus i think this 2 will also get cancelled because there was one more 2 yeah so this 2 and this um, this little x and x getting cancelled t plus t 2t so 2 will also get cancelled okay so even this 2 is not there okay so basically 2 by 2 so this is getting cancelled and even this is getting cancelled so sin x into cos t plus t so that's my solution u x t now i need to find out u at pi and pi by 2 so basically it will give me when i have put here pi so this first term will become zero and eventually lead to the entire quantity getting zero and just pi by two so i just get pi by two so u of pi pi by two is nothing but pi by two in fact dl lambert's uh, method is quite easy to solve in fact okay because it doesn't take much time and gives you so gives you the solution in a very efficient manner and suppose uh, let's say uh, if no one asks me what is, what is zero and uh, i mean u of xt and uh, they just told me to find out u pi comma pi by t so i can simply do this rather than integrating from uh, x minus t to x plus t and finding all these uh, all these things i'll simply plug in pi and pi by 2 here itself and i'll i'll write down this f of pi plus pi by 2 in fact i'll demonstrate it okay in the same video let's see okay Suppose without finding the solution, I'm just finding directly. Okay, what will be my u of pi comma pi by two? Okay, let me write down the another approach. Okay, without finding the solution. Okay, another approach. Okay. U of pi by two will be nothing but one upon two. And just now I noticed that it's nothing but f of x plus c2 so c was one so pi plus pi by 2 will give me 3 pi by 2 and plus f of pi minus pi by 2 will give me pi by 2 so this quantity will become pi by 2 and plus 1 upon 2 will again come to the picture and then integrating from again x minus ct that means integrate from 3 pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay and just uh, one so it was basically dy now just simply integrate this so you get half of now f of 3 pi by 2 okay so what is my f basically sine x it is sine x so just plug in there sine 3 pi by 2 will give you minus 1 and sine pi by 2 will give you 1 so this is done and now comes this chance so 1 upon 2 now it will become pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2 okay pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2 so that will give you Oh, I think uh, I made a mistake here. I think it is pi minus pi by 2. So basically it will go from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2. But I have taken 3 pi by 2 to pi by 2. So rather I'll put a minus sign here. Okay. And then and this, will, this will eventually make this quantity minus. So let me erase this. 
okay yeah now this thing will become zero and i'll get zero minus uh this will give me one by two and then minus uh three one minus three two pi by two so this two two getting cancelled and you directly get answer pi by two okay so that is also one method okay without even solving the whole entire solution you can simply just uh, put pi to pi by two and find out your solution okay thanks for watching see you in the next video